good morning students in uh, today's lab class we are going to see the experiment uh, OFDM that is optical frequency division multiplexing transmission and reception so we will open a new tab first we will go to lab alive l a b a l i v e lab alive so you will get this uh, virtual uh, communications laboratory click on to that so once you open this uh, lab alive you can uh, see the experiments that are available so in today's uh, lab session we are going to see the experiment ofdm orthogonal frequency division multiplexing so click on to this OFDM. So this is the experiment that we are going to explore today, which is uh, available as four parts, as mentioned here. The first part is uh, OFDM transmission step-by-step uh, -step analysis. Next one is the God interval and ISI free OFDM transmission. What is ISI? It is intersymbol interference. So ISI free OFDM transmission. Third part is the calculation of bit error rate for an additive white Gaussian noise channel. Finally, the peak to average power ratio, which we call as PAPR, peak to average power ratio of OFDM systems. So first we'll move on with the first part, which is OFDM transmission and reception. So this is a virtual lab which you all can explore by yourself. Anyway, I'll give you just the introduction of what you're going to uh, do in this experiment. So orthogonal uh, frequency division transmission. So we have uh, this block diagram. So this is a basic block diagram of OFDM, which you have already studied in wireless communication, where you have the input data symbol, which is uh, given to the serial to parallel converter and then the inverse Fourier transform is performed output of which is represented as u of i input of ifft is represented as d of i then you have to add the cyclic prefix and convert the parallel uh, bits into a serial data and uh, represent as uh, which is represented as s of i and that is given to a two-path channel then the noise is added here after the noise, we have the receiver part where the reverse process of the transmission takes place, where the cyclic prefix is uh, first removed, serial data is converted into parallel data, then the output uh, V of I is given to the first Fourier transform, which is given to an equalizer, which is again uh, given to a parallel to serial converter uh, where we get the output so we expect the output and the input d of i and d of i to be the same though it is affected by noise so here we are going to use a cyclic prefix with a discrete length of two so d of i is the pilot sequence which is a series of real constant symbols. U of I is a IFFT transform to an uh, OFDM symbol. That is a impulse symbol. Then you have S of I, that is the guard interval GI is added. OFDM signal is ex extended by a cyclic prefix containing the last uh, single symbol. Then you have R of I. So this is the output of the two path channel transfer function. The received signal is uh, degenerated by the channel. The echo of uh, example channel has the relative power of 0 0.9. So the channel is going to have the transfer function HE, which is equal to uh, 1 by HC. So the equalizer uh, coefficients are the reciprocals of the channel transfer function so very very important point to be noted the equalizer uh, coefficients h e is going to be 1 by h c which is the channel transfer function so 
so we are going to see the four data that is transmitted and the four data symbols is received so d dash is equal to di so we are going to see the analysis of different uh, parameters that is d of i u of i s of i r of i which is the received symbol so d of i is the data symbol u of i is uh, the transmitted symbol is s of i received symbol is r of i and the detected symbol is d dash of i which we expect to be same as d of i so you have all the parameters and the outputs here now let us see how to do the experiment so that is given in uh, the experiment part and you also have the manual part of it where we have the same block diagram we can execute the uh, simulation with the one simulation step or ten simulation steps by using either f5 or f6 you can vary the equalizer properties and check the output so these are all the different materials available which you can explore in the tab called as manual now let me tell you uh, how to do the experiment you have a launch option here so you have to press this uh, launch option you have to save the file once you save the file you can see the data so you have to let me launch it again let me save it it is uh, saved in d colon as ofdm step by step let me go and open it So you can see this uh, file which has opened here. You have run option, simulation option. So you can go to the run option. Once you run, you have different options. You can press play. You can see the different data that are available for the data. Signal viewer of U of I, transmitted symbol, received symbol, all the data you can see. You can uh, go to the run button, you can slow down or you can speed up, you can go for F5 which is one step uh, simulation, 10 step simulation and you can go to this uh, simulation, you can go to the settings and change the parameters if required, the FFT length and uh, equalizer coefficients. Okay. So since it is simulation, you can easily explore. You can note down all the data in your observation. So I can now tell you, you can go to the simulation, you can go to F12. You can vary the properties. You can change the FFT length. You can change the transmission power. And you can simulate the experiments and see. Okay. So the steps to be done is given here at the bottom itself. So you can vary the coefficients of the equalizer and you can run and see the outputs. Okay. Moving on to the 
experiment the second part of OFDM again let me go to reliable live virtual labs experiments you can go for the OFDM you can go for this guard interval and ISI free output again the experiment details are given here so the guard time exceeds the channel maximum delay spread TG greater than or equal to tau max so expressions is given what is the equation that we have taken here what is the f of t size we are going to set what is the discrete length of the guard interval everything is represented here you have the guard duration which is 0 0.8 microseconds so maximum uh, tau max has to be 0 0.8 uh, microseconds so if you reduce that you are going to have some error so without error you have only four symbols available that is when tau max is 0 0.8 microseconds so when the echo delay is going to be less than 0 0.8 in this case you can see if you are changing it to a 0 0.5 0 0.5 you can see that uh, the noise is going to occur so the output is going to be like this instead of this clear four symbols okay which is being transmitted now let us see how to do it you also have the manual you can go to the manual and uh, check out what is the god time what is the delay what is the simulation setups that can be varied okay so initially we are going to have the eco delay as 0 0.8 microseconds and then we are going to change it as 0 0.5 microseconds and view what is the difference so in the first case you will uh, get the symbols uh, correctly in the second case you will get the symbols with some errors so let me launch let me save the file so you will have So this is the experiment that we are going to see. God interval and ISI free OFDM. So you can go to the run. So you can go to the simulation. So once you run the simulation, you will get the required output. So in the setup here, you can change the value of the prefix length either as 2 or 0. launch it again save and let me replace it
so the data is saved as OFDM dot interval. Let me go to decolon. OFDM dot interval. Let me open it. So this is the same uh, OFDM setup where we have the OFDM symbols converted into IFFT added to just give it to the channel where it is getting added by the additive so you are getting the output here. which is the four symbols. I hope you are able to see it. Can you see? The four symbols without any errors. I hope you are able to see it. Okay. Now you can go to the simulation. You can go to the setup. And instead of the 0 0.8, we have to change this as uh, less than 0 0.8, right? So for that, let us select uh, instead of 800, we can go for uh, 400 nanoseconds. So once you do that, can you see? Now can you see the difference between the previous output and this output? Hope you are able to see the difference. So this is when tau is less than tau max. So least value that is acceptable is uh, 0 0.8. When I change it as 0 0.5, which is less than 0 0.8, you are not getting the output uh, clearly. The four symbols are available, but with noise. Okay. So we can explore this by changing all the parameters. I hope you will do it. Now we'll proceed on with uh, the third part. which is the bitter rate calculation. So since it is virtual, I think you all can explore it by yourself here. Uh, OFDM loss is calculated using the bitter rate. What is the effect of the cyclic prefix? What is the effect of the pilot subcarriers? What is the overall losses? Everything is given with the formulas clearly here. And we already know the equation for, for a B, P, S, K and Q, P, S, K. The bitter error rate is given by 0 0.5 uh, complementary error function of square root of beta into EB by N0. Where the value of beta is going to be less than 1 for the OFDM uh, system. Okay. So this is the theory part given. And in the experiment, you can explore what are the steps to be done. Okay how to change the value of EB by N0 and how to view the output. So bitter rate is around 9, uh, 94,924. So you can go to the manual if required. Clear explanation of everything is given. Kindly explore this. You can see the virtual output by launching. OFDM N0 is available, so let me go to D colon OFDM. Okay, let me download it again. Save. So it is saved as OFDM EBY N0. So, so when you are downloading it for the first time, the download option will be available here. You can uh, straight away click on it and uh, get the output. So here we have and 
let us go wait for some time for the file to open. So very important thing is if you don't have the JavaScript available in your uh, laptop or the desktop, kindly go to the Google, uh, type Java for uh, PC, download it. So here you can see the bit rate is uh, 0 0.94.5. So you can again go to the simulation setup as per the manual, whatever changes is required, you can make and view the output. So if Java is not there, you can go to the Google, download uh, Java for PC. You can download the Java exe file, run it, and then you can launch and view the output. Okay. Finally, you can go for the last part, which is peak to average ratio of OFDM system. where the peak to average power ratio, PAPR, which is the ratio of uh, magnitude of the maximum uh, peak value of the symbol, the whole square by the ESS value. So you can go through all these data given in the manual. You can uh, see how the experiment should be conducted. By varying the subscriber size. So here we are taking the modulation as 4 QAM. The power transmission is 1 volt square. So when the N is equal to 8, this is the output expected. And uh, when you change the value of the prefix length, uh, prefix length as 2 from 0. So you know, from 0, if you change the prefix length as 2, then the corresponding output variation can be seen. So instead of f of t length as 8, if you go for 16, the simulation may take some time. So since this is a virtual lab, I want all the students to explore it. So let me launch it. PAPR OFTM. Let me save it. So I'm going to my decode and open this file. Let me wait. for the experiment to open. Pop up. There you can see the peak to average power ratio. It's the show of peak value to the average value. See here you can see. the transmitted symbols constellation diagram you are able to see. You can go to the simulation here, you go to the setup, and you can change the value. Instead of zero, you can increase or decrease the values. I'm sorry. You can increase any value here. Press OK. And then do the simulation. And you can see the difference. So OFDM transmission and reception is available as four different paths. So I want everybody to explore it by going to the virtual lab named Lab Align. Thank you.